And we are back with Sophie Uliano, and she has never looked better. And today she's going to show us how to make a buckwheat <laughs> pillow to help improve your sleep. You have Oreo cookies down your shirt. There's Oreos. Yeah. Oh, everywhere. Oreos. Yeah, everywhere. Do you want an Oreo? No, <laughs> later. We'll talk and later. And there's dripping. Uh, the whole see. thing is just dripping. Well, it's well, lovely oh. that you came to show us how to make these beautiful okay. buckwheat pillows despite of the way you look. Thank so, you very much. Why, are, why is buckwheat such a wonderful thing to sleep with, of all things? Well, you know, if you think of regular cushions, mm -hmm. pillows, should I say, right. um, they are not so good for, for, for your sleep <laughs> if you have a um, neck ache or something. Mm -hmm because they can they don't meld into your neck mm -hmm. and um, buckwheat is i've had neck pain for years had it until i started using buckwheat really it's amazing Ooh. all right so we're going to make these pillows so i'm going to ask you what we need so obviously we need buckwheat you and need, what is buckwheat well what? buckwheat is actually not a wheat it's a buck what does that mean? What, what, does, that what mean? does that mean? <laughs> a buck is like a horse, isn't <laughs> it? <laughs> well, baby no, horse. No, right? no the, the, it's it's like a little herb. It's 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 from the oat family, and it, these are cleaned off, so they're very very clean. They're from mountain rose mm -hmm. herbs. Yeah. And what is so great about them is that pillows are normally filled with you know your filler, your foam, your down, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of uh, chemicals and pesticides in there. But chemicals particularly to keep it from um, you know having pest um, allergens, allergens and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And what What's so beautiful about this is that it's a really green and healthy way to sleep. All right, well, let's. We have a, a tape of what you did this morning using this buckwheat. So let's take a look at that right now. Yes. Okay. What? So okay. what I did was I got a cotton, a hypoallergenic cotton pillow cover with a zip. You have to have a zip. Then I got my cleaned buckwheat hulls and I basically filled it. Now, you don't want to overfill it. About five pounds for one standard size pillow will do. You want it loosely filled so that you can really sort of mush it and smush it up underneath your face. Um, and then another so thing I got yeah. was that I got um, a shoe cover. You know these little duster bags uh -huh. from, that you get with fancy shoes? Yes. And I cut out some Velcro, some iron-on Velcro and um, measured it to the length of the bag. This is a great way of reusing things, and it's a great way to make a little travel pillow, Christina. That's a lovely idea. Isn't that? Is. And then you see, as you can see here, I just pulled the little cord out. Then I stuck the Velcro on. I, I'm obsessed with this iron-on Velcro. Yes. We made our, our curtains that way. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And there you go. And then I filled that with the buckwheat hulls, and you have a very expensive, probably a $2 travel pillow. It's lovely. That's idea. it. Right. I, Any I like chance it. to be okay for pets to sleep on something like that? I think so. <gasps> Look, an no. Ian. Yes. Ian's fallen asleep. I know. What How is it with me is. having people fall asleep on me? Oh. <laughs> yes, he, you could I'm actually, so you could yeah. make a pet bed out of this. It'd be amazing for yeah. pets. Yeah. Yeah. Can I ask you, can you put <laughs> scents in here, like lavender? Yes. Like that? Yes, you can. All right. Now, Christina, would you like to just make, we're going to make a little travel pillow here. So we took a little liner that I got from, you know, Bed Bath & beyond mm -hmm. with a zipper would you like to fill it with a little bit more can of I these use my hands? yeah you can okay. use your hands all right and in this one i thought what would be lovely is to add some dried hops flowers is uh, this what they make beer out of yes okay and hop is great for why would we use this yeah. well you know what it hops is a uh, sleep aid it oh, really it really helps you to go oh. to sleep it's oh. beautiful it's very soothing that very soporific that's why you get tired when you drink <clears throat> beer <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. okay. But um, hot boots really is wonderful in a pillow. Okay. And there, Mark, you yeah. have, and Christina, this gorgeous little cool. travel pillow. And it has all these little things that I thought you would like, Mark. Go that I would see. like? Yes, there's little things for you, like I am be the change in the world and things like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> things that I say or things that I should pay attention to? Um, things that you're going to pay attention to. Uh, Christina, oh, would you, um, oh. would you like lovely. to come to the bed? Yes, I would. Now, we have a pillow here that's... Now, this is the one that I made earlier, Christina, oh. and this one is full of the... Of the hulls. Okay. Shoes off. And I just want to show you, there's a very particular way how to oh. use one of these pillows. So, Christina, if you... Um, what you want to do is really bunch all the hulls up to according underneath to your what? head. Yeah, I have it according to what's comfortable yes. for me. Yes, right and then now. you see she's got it underneath her neck, not underneath her shoulders. Does it feel comfortable, Christina? So comfortable. And, and it'll I'm going to do this. This is like it's changed my life already. Yeah. No, I'm well, serious. How do you it, clean that? If oh, you're... How, well, how you clean it is... I didn't get it dirty. I just got in it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's not very nice. Oh, God. <laughs> how no. you clean it is you let Mother Nature do it. So you basically put it outside in the sun mm -hmm. probably every two to th three months, and then you're good and to go. And that's it. And you're good. So you know what? I want to stuff my comforter with it. <gasps> it's so fabulous. It's... Yes! I love this. What a great idea. Is it, is it affordable? 
It is six dollars total to make an organic, beautiful, healthy pillow that will wow. take pain out of your neck.